Okay, good morning to all. I'm Mr. Khan and welcome you in Mr. Khan Academy. Today I'm going to cover 2.4 Inertia Matching, fourth part of second series. Before starting this video, we just go and check my 2.2 modeling of DC motor behavior and 2.3 heat dissipation in DC motor and velocity profile optimization. Just recently I uploaded this video. चैनल पे मेरे अवेलेबल है अगर अभी तक आपने 2.2 पॉइंट टू और टू पॉइंट थ्री ये वीडियो नहीं देखा है जस्ट गो थ्रू दिस कार्ड आइकॉन और यहाँ पे ये सभी वीडियोस के लिंक्स अवेलेबल हैं एंड 2.4 एंड 2.3 पॉइंट थ्री बोथ आर लिंक्ड देन माई सिंसियर रिक्वेस्ट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग 2.4 पॉइंट फोर जस्ट गो थ्रू इट टू पॉइंट थ्री वीडियो एंड मोर थिंग इफ यू आर माई न्यू व्यूवर अगर अभी तक आपने मेरे चैनल सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया देन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल द आईकॉन इज अवेलेबल ओवर यो by which can motivate and i can make such video in future also more such video if you are having any problem regarding any doubt any feedback anything please mention in comment box please hit the like button the topic to be covered in this series already i covered 2.1 2.2 2.3 for the three videos available in tino beats pe today i'm only going to cover in the match and still That much part is left in second series. अगर आपको ये सभी टॉपिक्स के बारे में अपडेट्स चाहिए एन एवर आई एम गोइंग टू अपलोड दिस रिमेनिंग टॉपिक्स देन प्लीज हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन बाई विच यू गेट थ्रू ई मेल नोटिफिकेशन रिगार्डिंग वेन एवर आई अपलोड द वीडियो फॉर दैट यू नीड टू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल लेट स्टार्ट द इंडिया मैचिंग Let's assume the motor connected to the load via coupling medium, as shown below. Whenever we are going to cover uh, connect motor load, we use coupling medium. In motor side, moment of inertia. Let's assume J M. In load side, moment of inertia. Let's say J L. Then, if inertia of these two component will get matched, that J M and J L get matched, then we can say energy dissipation in motor will get decreases. As heat dissipation in motor will decreases, ultimately the efficiency of motor will get increases. This already we discussed in last video. Means, the heat dissipation come will come, the efficiency of motor will be increases. Means, zada ho. And for that, in last video already we discussed that two factors influence the heat dissipation. One is coupling ratio, one is velocity profile. Velocity profile already I discussed in detail. In 2.3, in this video, this we will consider the coupling ratio with inertia match. Both the relationship will I will explain and how the heat dissipation will be decreases. That also I will explain in detail in this video. For that, you need to watch till end. Now, coupling medium that might be gear transmission, belt and pulley transmission, lead screw drive. This medium might be there. But in this video, I am just to discuss the inertia matching. We will consider the load via gear mechanism, gear trans. Then motor is connected with the load. Then load side, the properties are theta L, L J L, moment of inertia, torque, angular position of load side is connected with gear and pinion. Gear having number of teeth and P, number of teeth present in gear and pinion having the number of teeth and P. The reflected parameter of load on motor side is theta dash L dash L J dash. And J M is a motor inertia. The parameter related with the load are theta L P L J L. Already explained. The load is connected to motor by coupling medium. This parameter will be reflected at the shaft of the motor, and these reflected parameters are theta dash L dash L J dash. The reflected parameters and load parameters. The relationship with, in terms of gear ratio is a dash l is equal to j l upon n square. Theta dash l is equal to theta l upon n, and theta dash upon l is equal to n theta l. T dash l is equal to T l upon n. These are the relationship. This is important in future. Just keep in your mind the relationship between reflected parameters and parameters on load side. Already I discussed in two point three. the uh, heat dissipation in dc motor we can calculate with the help of this formula from where we will get this formula but exactly the terms we are using for that you need to watch 
my 2.3 heat dissolution and velocity profile optimization video. Let's take lambda, theta square, and tc cube as a common in bracket. If you are taking as a common, and inside j t square, if that, and rest of the terms here we are dividing these terms. Then if you are dividing these terms, then tc cube we need to multiply in numerator. Then we are getting tc raised to four divided by lambda theta square. This is for DC mode, okay. But similarly, energy distribution in motor with gear transmission with reflected parameters during time TC is given by. This is without reflected parameter this equation. But if I consider the reflected parameter which is on the mo motor side with gear transmission, the formula will be instead of the theta T and J, sorry theta T. Instead of that, we need to use reflected parameter. Therefore, the equation will be similar. Equation will be there. This equation and this equation is same. Only difference is the theta and t. E. Instead of that, I am using the dash reflected parameters. And where j t is nothing but total moment of inertia, that is nothing but motor moment of inertia and load moment of inertia with reflected parameters. Okay, same upon j dash l. Then again, if I am substituting this value in this equation, okay. Then instead of JT, I need to write out JM plus JL dash. The equation becomes WC is equal to R by KT square bracket lambda theta dash square L TC cube bracket. Okay, square bracket bracket JM plus JL dash bracket, close bracket square plus TC raised to 4 TL dash square divided by lambda theta dash square L. Now, here again, uh, I'm multiplying means not I am multiplying, I am changing the reflected parameters with load parameter. For that I need to use the relationship, only I explain this relationship with reflected parameters and load parameters. The relationship already know and instead of theta dash L I am substituting n theta L and instead of t dash L I am substituting tl upon n instead of j dash L I am substituting tl upon n square. Then I am substituting in this formula dash parameter with the relationship load parameters then instead of theta dash l square i will substitute n square theta l square instead of j dash l l upon n square instead of theta dash l theta dash theta l upon n as square is there in numerator square denominator square and if i am simplifying this equation outside bracket the terms are remain same inside i am taking gl as a common gl square will be common gm upon gl plus 1 upon n square bracket square plus tc raised to 4 and tl square this n square n square will get multiplied and we will get n raised to 4 same equation getting here okay same is here now next i'm taking j square l as a common and i'm multiplying, I'm multiplying n square inside why we will see in detail afterward just keep in this in mind just we need to take jl square as we have to take a common and n square we have to multiply inside and as JL, I am taking outside, JL will be in common here and here divided by JL square. As I am multiplying n square, then here n square and here n is to 4. Instead of n is to 4, we will write down n square because it will be get cancelled. After that, let here excluding n square, rest of the terms, whatever the rest of the terms here in this part, TC raised to 4, TL square upon lambda, theta square L j square l that we are assuming as a gamma to simplify this for the for the calculation just assume as a gamma then i am substituting whole the term in terms of gamma in this equation then we will get wc is equal to r by kt square bracket lambda gl square theta square l tc cube bracket n square jm upon gl plus 1 upon n square bracket square plus gamma upon n square it's very simplified equation instead of gamma we can write down this equation Again, I write down the same equation here. Whatever the terms are there, same terms is here. Now, as energy distribution in motor depends upon the gear ratio, already I discussed the energy distribution is influenced by two factors: velocity profile and coupling ratio. That is a gear ratio. Then differentiate above bracket term. Only bracket because only in the bracket n square uh, gear ratio is there, n is there. Rest of the term is constant. Then we can neglect. Then differentiate bracket term n square and equate to it to zero so as to get optimum gear ratio. Okay. As we are getting optimum gear ratio, ultimately minimize the power distribution. WC in a motor. 
then this is a bracket term d by dn square bracket n square jm upon gl plus 1 upon n square bracket square plus jm upon n square bracket close is equal to 0. So that's it, we need to differentiate the bracket term with respect to n square. Then for that we need to simplify this equation then this is a plus b bracket square formula we need to apply and multiply n square inside okay we need to expand this bracket term as we expanding this bracket term we will get n square this first part square that is a square jm upon gl square plus n square multiply b square that is 1 upon n square then n square power is n square square is n raised to 4 plus n square 2 ab 2 this is a term and this is b term multiply plus this term will be remain same again i rewrite the same equation over here whatever the equation is there same equation i'm writing here now uh, let's uh, simplify this equation for the move uh, by taking n square as a common n square gem upon gl bracket square is the same now n square and just to four weight cancel i am getting one upon n square plus two gm upon gl because n square and square will get cancelled then uh, no couple k okay, ratio will be there term gm upon now again d upon d upon dn square bracket n square gm upon gl bracket square is remain same and this one upon n square and gap upon n square we are taking as a adding this both term then we are getting one plus gamma upon n square plus this term remains same two into j m upon here is equal to zero now if i am differentiating this term with respect to n square then uh, d by dx is equal to x that equation we are getting one then similarly d upon dn square n square it is also one because of that i am getting j m upon gl bracket square plus this is one upon x type then one upon x is minus one upon x square here instead of 1 upon x here i need to consider 1 upon n square and that will be minus 1 plus gamma upon n 0 raised to 4 that is optimal velocity and optimum gear ratio n 0 plus as this is constant then differentiation of constant term is 0 equal to 0 again i am rewriting the same equation over here for the simplification now just minus sign i am uh, shifting on the right hand side gm upon gl bracket square is equal to 1 plus gamma upon n0 is to 4 then gm upon gl is equal to under root 1 plus gamma upon n0 2 then this is i am getting the final equation now let if suppose load torque is 0 then gamma is 0 why because already we know gamma is nothing but we discuss gamma is equal to tc raised to 4 tl square upon gamma theta L square gl square then if theta is 0, theta is 0, gamma value will be 0. Then here I am assuming theta is 0, then gamma value is 0. As gamma value is 0, in that case, the value of gm upon gl is equal to, it will be 1 upon and 0. Just simplification purpose. Because of that, I assume tl is equal to 0, then gamma will be 0. In that case, gm upon gl is equal to 1 and 0 n square. Then n0 is equal to under root gl upon gm is called as a inertia matching and from this equation we are getting optimum gear ratio by which if i am considering this gear ratio then heat dissipation in dc motor will be get reduced from that equation i can calculate gl from jm or jm from gl if i know the gear ratio and that much is there in the inertia matching if calculate these values and according to that if we design the dc motor then heat dissipation in DC motor will be get reduced and we will get the maximum equation. For inertia matching, whatever I explained, you can refer applied mechatronics, a smiley and F mod, Oxford University Press, okay, this book. The uh, 2.0 electric actuating system, interruption of second series is available over here. You can just go through it for uh, the explanation of what contains i'm going to cover in brief you can watch it you can see exactly what i'm doing and 2.1 principle operation of dc motor you can check the video again i'm repeating one more time if you haven't subscribed to my channel subscribe, please subscribe my channel motivate me to make such video in future if you want our more topics mechatronics and other subjects also please hit the like button and if you're having any feedback any comment any uh, out then please mention in comment box. Meanwhile, right now, that's it from my side. See you soon.
नेक्स्ट वीडियो थैंक यू बाय बाय टेक केयर